You were talking about version three. Uh, yes. Uh, of course, you know, as you said, you know, it's still in the pipeline, but what kind of things people can expect, you know? That's a really good question. So right now, so Zoe version two is the most successful platform that we have just because of the, uh, when we began it and it's, it's coming to the end of its sort of lifetime now. I think we've just released version 2.16 so the 16 would be our 16th release times six weeks. I can't do the math anyway, but it's been, you know, it's been on the menu for a while now. And after a while, you always have to stabilize a release because some of the technology in it decays. You have technical debt in there that you need to get rid of. And within an active release of a software product, you can't change it too much, right? You can't, you just can't change the menu around too much. You annoy your customers and you annoy the people who are extending it. You have to stabilize. So Zoe version three, Within those two projects I mentioned, the installer and the IntelliJ plugin will become part of Zoe Core, which just gives us more kind of um, more notes to basically play with on the musical instrument. Um, a lot of a lot of open source projects now are really being challenged by things like Dora um, and uh, security scanning. A lot of Zoe mainframe customers, their banks, they're very very concerned about security. There's been a lot of high profile attacks. Uh, everything from solar winds to XE, which is very, very fresh in people's minds. So we, we're really going and looking at the entire inventory of software to make sure that when version three is released, absolutely everything in there, uh, we have a lot of confidence that, that we can basically support that and maintain that going forwards. So there's, a, and then there's also um, a lot of really cool nuggets coming in within Visual Studio Code. We're trying to embrace, people have asked us for more use cases and more scenarios and more enterprise deployment. So we're putting in things there that basically mean that rather than it being a hobbyist experience, if you think back to you know, your PC where you use it locally, once you connect it, you want to have more collaboration tools to be able to work with other people. So that's a vector that we're kind of pushing towards version three as well.